How's everybody doing? Just something to watch for. You can watch for this. I'm what this is what I'm watching. And uh, this is something that I believe could happen, and I'm going to watch for it. Hezbollah leader, right here. Iran could retaliate for Iran strikes. They've been striking in Palestine, and this is something I'm going to watch for. They're also, uh, uh, Damascus, they're also talking about that there. This is, and this would happen tonight, which is coming up, because it's 1 o'clock, it's almost 2 o'clock here. This is the last day of Ramadan, right here. This is just today. It says, Iran prepares for anti-Israel. This day right there is the last day of Ramadan, which is today. This article is the 28th, which is... Is for Friday. This was ahead of time. This is Friday. This is today coming up. So this is something to watch for. It, they're they're talking about it. So they're preparing. Um, right here. This is Jerusalem Post. I repent. Prepares for anti-Israel. This is today with massive incitement. They burn their flag. We will see what, what happens. Well, here's it in Iran. This was three hours ago. And as I show you here, the time, this would be happening pretty soon. Pretty soon. We should see something coming out from uh, Israel. And here it is. Get rid of that. Really funny because anytime I try to do this stuff from someplace else, my computer acts up. Here it is. This was three hours ago. The uh, uh, annual event was seen as an opportunity for freedom seeking people across the world, regardless faith to voice their support for the Palestinian cause and vent their anger against uh, the apartheid regime in Tel Aviv, which has, been, uh, has occupied Palestinian uh, territories for decades now. As we also mentioned earlier, International Woods Day is among the legacies of the late founder of the Islamic Republic of Iran, Imam Khomeini, who is revered as a spiritual leader by Muslims across the world. Back in 1979, shortly after leading an Islamic revolution which toppled the U.S.-backed Shah of Iran, Ayatollah Khomeini named the last Friday of the fasting month of Ramadan International Quds Day. However, tensions uh, remain high in the occupied Palestinian territories over the past several weeks. The situation is particularly tense in Al-Ghuz, where uh, the al aqsa Mosque compound is located. What, what's dead? Said down here about the situation about um, worldwide, right here. However, tensions says right here, Khomeini scientists main support U.S. suffer defeats globally. Tense in where, so uh, the Al Aqsa Mosque compound is located. Israeli forces. God bless. I just want to make a short video. It's some to watch for. Um, at, uh, we'll compound. see what happens. God bless. Uh, this was three hours ago, so the crowd. Dozens were injured as a result, according to the Palestine God bless. Red Crescent Society. Uh, 